In tonight's edition of 7 Up Front, there's a new effort underway to bridge the gap to home ownership. Wayne County Commissioner Monique Baker McCormick recently introduced a resolution that aims to boost African American home ownership by 2030. So Monique is joining us live tonight and we thank you so much for being with us, Monique. Thank you for having me. So what made you decide that this is the time to take action and what does the resolution entail? Well, as a real estate broker myself, uh, that's my other hat, uh, I thought it was important to talk to the issues of uh, home ownership, especially since we're about to lift the moratorium on foreclosures. So I thought that this time would be the right time to uh, press for uh, more policies around uh, helping homeowners, especially in Wayne County and in Detroit, stay in their homes. Um, the U.S. Census uh, data states that there is about 42.3% uh, Black homeowners uh, in the United States versus 72.2% of whites. So that is a, is a large divide there. And it's critical that we create some policies, uh, intentional policies to turn the tide. So interesting data that you just quoted, Monique, and it does back the national need for a more equitable housing system. So you do have personal experience, real estate broker, you said that more than 25 years. What have you observed firsthand? Well, I, uh, Currently, we, we know that COVID uh, also has impacted our community as far as jobless, joblessness. And so we know that because the moratorium is being lifted, we might see even more of uh, a loss to uh, Black home ownership. And that's what I don't want to see. Uh, we also have uh, the issue with us not having uh, an estate plan. So we had uh, thousands of people, especially in Northwest Detroit, where uh, I live and work, and, and that those are my constituents, that passed away without a will uh, or without a living trust. And because of that, they now had to go to, through probate. Probate costs money. And uh, what ends up happening is they lose the family home that may have been uh, in the family for 50 years. Now they have to sell it because uh, of, you know, not having the proper uh, documentation and paperwork in order. So we want to, my office is committed and other organizations to creating workshops around how uh, we, we improve the conditions and ensure that uh, if something like that happens, that their uh, paperwork and everything is in, is in order. Well, that resolution is a first great step, but we know a lot of work still needs to be done. So where does the resolution go from here? So the 15 commissioners, uh, my colleagues, they all are committed to increasing black home ownership in uh, in Detroit and in Wayne County. And uh, the resolution was sent to uh, the state and federal government so that they know that we're on board and that we're pressing uh, to make sure that we uh, implement some programs. Uh, we're, we're getting uh, an influx of the uh, ARP money and we want some appropriated uh, towards uh, helping with uh, assistance um, in home ownership and uh, home ownership counseling, uh, helping uh, uh, more residents access mortgages. And so there's um, also uh, hundreds of organizations and individuals that are working around the country to help with this initiative. And it's so important, Monique. Thank you so much for your time. We appreciate you tonight. Thank you for having me. All right, let's hope people take advantage of this program and hope this resolution gets them some help. Yes. Still Thanks. ahead, 